Hey YouTube, what's going on? I just wanted to show you guys a ROM that I downloaded and installed on my Galaxy S3 for the Verizon variant. And the ROM is called Liquid Smooth RC7, which is basically Build 7. And I mean, this ROM is pretty good, it's pretty nice. Let me just start it up. There, there's a splash screen. And anyways, they worked pretty hard on this build, and overall I'm pretty impressed with it. We'll just, it, it boots up fairly quickly, I mean, it doesn't take, oh, let me just, there you go. It's, I mean, it boots up fairly quickly, it's overall pretty nice ROM. It's pretty quick, pretty smooth, and we'll just have it wait up for a minute, there you go. And well, this is my lock screen, and this isn't that. This isn't the actual theme it comes with. I installed a theme. The theme is called, I, I believe it's called Matted Blues, and I mean it's a really nice theme. As you can see, it's really detailed on the clock. Just focus on it. There you go. I mean the clock is really detailed, and the font I I changed out the font. I didn't like the stock font it came up with and this is actually running Android version I believe it's 4.1.2 yeah right there and then we'll just show you that's the actual that's not part just ignore that that's just the actual theme I don't know why it's there it's usually a jelly bean but anyways I mean just flick jelly beans around. Apparently, people will love flipping, flipping them around. I don't know why, but and oh look, here's there's a candy cane. How cool is that? I've never seen that before. Candy cane just just in the background. That is so weird. I'll move all the jelly beans around it just so you can see the gel the the candy cane. Look at that. I've only seen that candy cane twice, and I don't know why it comes out. I thought it was supposed to be a jelly bean round, but apparently it's there's a hidden feature with or a hidden Easter egg as well is inside the Easter egg that happens to be candy cane. Anyways, I'll just get out of that. Back to the ROM. I mean, the ROM is pretty snappy, pretty smooth, as you can see. It, it flips through screens pretty quickly, and this isn't the actual default launcher this is actually Nova launcher uh, I was having a little I was having some issues with the default launcher so I decided to just download Nova launcher and it works just as well I don't know what was wrong with with the default launcher but just no and then I also have this clock it's with beautiful widgets anyways I'll just get back to the theme so I mean here you have your typical settings and whatnot but here is where everything is your liquid splasher here's all the developers who put work and time in it and without them we wouldn't have ROMs we wouldn't really have anything and I just want to give them a big thank you because I know they work hard and they really get nothing out of it unless if you just send send some money on their PayPal I mean which I don't mind doing since they've worked really hard. Anyways, we'll just go into the interface. Interface is basically everything display, notification, back, the background, background alpha, carry label, which is that, which is that label right there, and as well as your notification label, which is right there. And the kill button, which is that button right there, just allows you to kill all applications running and it's just easier to do it that way we'll go back here the lock screen no sorry oh and I want to show you something the notification background that is what I thought was really cool the notification actually allows you to change the actual background on your notification screen which is really cool not not all of them let you do that and I thought it was pretty cool to, that they allowed you to do it uh, well, anyway.
always will go back. Lock screen. All your the weather calendar and all the shortcuts. Yeah, we'll take a look into the shortcuts. And as you can see, you can have eight of them, which is just ridiculous. That's just ridiculous amount. I mean, you could have pretty much all your main apps that you really need and you don't even have to unlock your phone. You just simply just unlock one and it will take you there. Which, I just like leaving the default three, camera, Google, and the unlock. I don't really mind unlocking my phone to go to where I need to go. Just get out of here. The navigation. This is really cool because it allows you to have the 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 navigation buttons at the bottom. As we'll see, we'll enable it. You can see your notification bar disappears while it loads. And just give it a couple seconds. It shouldn't take that long for it to for the little hypnotic feeds and there it is the little house and I'm telling you it's they look different from a normal they look different the only reason why they look different the buttons on the bottom is because of the theme the theme makes it look different and I mean they work fine you can see it takes me back to the home page no problem this will take me back, the back button. I mean, just proves you it works. Everything works flawless on this, on this ROM. I mean, it's such a great ROM. And I just want to thank them again for taking time and effort to make this ROM. Uh, I mean, pretty, you could change the color of the buttons, the color of the background. You could pretty much change the height, the width of it. Add more buttons if you like. There's the power menu. The power menu is actually just that menu that comes up when you hold your power button down, which I rarely see that menu, so I don't really mess with those kind of, those tweaks or buttons or whatever you like to call them. The sounds, it's just basic sounds on your phone when your phone gets silent when you're on a phone call or something. And toggles, the toggles I have are actually the the those kind of toggles. I don't like the original toggles that it comes with. I just think it's not as classy and I don't need as many. And if I ever do need some, I could just simply just switch them. we we'll just switch them to the bottom and you could see they change. But I mean, the only problem is you're going to have to add more toggles for it to fill up the whole bar. And I just like using... I just like using that kind, that layout. It just looks more nice, more cleaner. I don't know. I just like it. I'll just uh, toggle style. And you could even change the color of it. Just keep in mind if you have a theme running in the theme chooser, and I'll just show you it really fast. If you actually have a theme, there you go. It's called Matted Blues. It's a really nice theme. If you have a theme on, it's not gonna allow you to do anything. It's not gonna allow you to change the background nor change the color of of the buttons that are disabled are enabled and disabled just keep in mind um widgets it's basically uh, just go down to widgets it's just all the, the power widgets and brightness location the status bar it's just uh this is where i actually got to move the the time the date and the pm and am I like it in the center, it looks more clean, more elegant, and change the battery. If, just keep in mind, if you do download this theme, it's not going to be that kind of battery. You're going to have to actually change it manually, and you're going to want to go to battery icons, and that's you're going to want the, the circle mod. And I know it's not a circle, which makes no sense, but I like the way it looks. It kind of looks like a, a book. A bookmark or something it looks really nice and I mean just you could change all the colors but like I said if you do have a theme it's not gonna let you change anything performance um, performance rise in the processor it's actually just it's just normal the processor is actually just gonna be 1.5 it's gonna I mean yeah it's gonna be one five one two megahertz, which is just stock. You'll find out in any 
it's not overclocked or anything. If you want to overclock it, you just need a, a kernel, a different kernel. And, I mean, it's not hard to flash. It's pretty easy. So, I mean, overall, yeah, this I was fairly impressed with this ROM. This ROM is really nice. Um, I've been using it for about, I want to say, a little over a week. Had no problems. The only problem I've actually had is when you go to YouTube and we'll just click on a random video or something here we'll just click on this video so nothing to subscribe to him as you can see it's glitching right there like what's, what, what, and what's this? what's this? you're not lower the volume and when you actually like, mess with the volume as you can see it glitches like that just a little bit I mean I don't know why it's just a bug I guess it's on just a bug for Jelly Bean but that's the only glitch I've. That's the only glitch I've encountered. And other than that, this ROM is actually pretty nice. It's pretty smooth overall. I want to thank you guys for watching. Keep keep a lookout for any more videos I might be posting up later. And thank you guys. Bye.